roughly 7 p.m. on Saturday, uh, Roseville Police uh, received a call um, reporting uh, some kind of conflict or altercation happening um, at the Sunsplash uh, water park here in our city. Uh, officers responded um, and uh, found a, a large crowd of uh, people involved in uh, e either exiting or trying to move around um, uh, Sunsplash, the Sunsplash facility. Uh, ultimately, we determined that uh, one individual um, had uh, been a victim of what appears to be a stabbing. Um, that individual was uh, transported to a local hospital. Um, those injuries were considered to be uh, non-life-threatening um, and uh, um, they were expected to survive. Um, at this time, uh, we're just confirming that uh, that victim uh, who was stabbed uh, was an adult male, um, not from this area. At this time, we are working with uh, Sunsplash security um, and the surrounding businesses to uh, one, determine ultimately what happened and what led up to this altercation, uh, but also to help identify um, any suspects um, that were involved. There are indications that point to this uh, not being a random act of violence, um, but that is one of the pieces we're looking at uh, in the investigative process. At this time, we are asking for the public's assistance. Um, anyone with information uh, related to the incident, um, please contact the Roseville Police Department. Um, we are uh, uh, looking for any additional video, um, uh, witness information. All of that um, will ultimately help us uh, uh, find um, the suspects involved in this incident. We know that there um, were a lot of people in the park um, and uh, we also know that, uh, that the business has a security system. Um, uh, additionally, surrounding businesses have security systems. And, and so I think that is uh, the next phase of our in investigation is ultimately determining um, who was responsible for uh, this incident. Um, you know, this uh, is a very uncommon crime in our city. And so uh, when something like this happens, um, we do dedicate resources uh, to figure it out because uh, we appreciate low crime rates um, here in Roseville and uh, we wanna do everything we can to keep crime low and keep crime out of our city. You know, we recognize that anytime you put um, uh, large crowds of people together, um, there's a possibility for uh, um, uh, disagreement and uh, unfortunately at times violence to take place. Um, uh, you know, we, we talk about uh, Roseville being a, a destination. There's a lot of reasons um, to come here. If it's uh, for shopping, um, to stay in a hotel, um, or to uh, visit a water park, there's a lot of reasons for people to come. Um, the message we wanna tell people is don't come to Roseville and commit crime because we will dedicate the resources uh, to investigate it and ultimately hold people accountable um, when they come here and they break the law. At this time, I've not received notification um, that the victim uh, passed, so uh, I, I would say it's safe to assume that the victim is, uh, is still alive, unknown of the status uh, at the hospital or not. I've not looked at the data for our, our call response uh, to Sunsplash, but I, I will say, any time um, we add a lot of people to an area of town, um, we increase the potential for, uh, uh, for um, incidents to occur. Um, uh, you know, uh, I know that uh, the business has um, a security team, they have surveillance systems, um, and uh, we do work closely with them um, whenever an incident happens. Um, uh, but we would always encourage people to be proactive on their side. Um, uh, you know, only take the items that you need inside the park. Uh, uh, use, um, use a locker or some kind of locking system. Um, uh, you know, of course, don't, don't bring weapons into our city at all. Um, uh, so there are things that people can do um, to ensure that they don't become, um, you know, a part of uh, a situation, an incident, or become a victim um, whenever they visit Roseville. If you visit our city or any place across the region, um, we would always encourage you to, uh, one, report suspicious activity. Um, if something doesn't seem right, uh, report it, inform security, or call, uh, call the police department. Um, but if you're somewhere and you don't feel safe or secure in that environment, leave. Um, uh, it, you know, take your own personal responsibility to remove yourself from the situation um, if you don't feel like uh, it's a safe environment.